Afrobeats and news people guys it's me Kelvin welcome back to Afrobeats news and we want to subscribe Afrobeats entertainment and just coming at you don't forget guys to like and subscribe as well as turn on post notifications and stay tuned for more Afrobeats related entertainment and just coming at you so guys today I'm going to talk about the one and only two Baba aka two face EDBR or innocent EDBR the legend himself in the game two face and also I'm going to talk about the one and only Kodak Black now um, there's been a video online of Kodak Black dancing or singing actually to one of Two Face classic song um, African Queen. Now, before I go into showing you guys a video and talking about that, I need to let you guys know that personally, right? I feel like Two Face being a legend is not just because he's been in the industry for a long time. Uh, more than that, more than that, mostly because he's produced certain classical albums that would forever be remembered in nigerian music industry like at least we can all agree right that you know grass to grace was a classic album and not just that face to face also was a classic album but before i go into talking about you know what is classic what is not or if grass to grace is classic and face to face is classic let me define to you guys the parameters i'm using to judge if an album is classic and that's because you know i know that nowadays it's hard to tell if an album is a classic album or not most people just feel like if an album is successful or is commercially successful that means the album is a classic actually it's far from that you know i think fella back in the day had some albums that were relatively slept on did not see a lot of um, international success but as the years went by, people have come to realize that these albums are good and he started chatting or stuff like that. But that is just talking too much, right? Let me give you guys the parameters that I feel makes an album a classical album or not. Now, the first parameter that I think is very important is the range of topics covered in an album. A really good classical album must have a wide range of topics. You just can't sing about girls or about love in 30 different ways and make it an album and say you have a classic album. That's not allowed. Uh, if you are a true artist and you want to produce a classic album, you must be able to have a vast range of topics is called so i have to hear some socially conscious music i have to hear some deep emotional love song i have to hear some club songs i have to hear you know a wide range of topics and like i need to know that you are also a part of the society and you face a wide range of issues so you can also translate that in your music i don't want to see you singing about the same thing in different ways all over and over and over again that doesn't make an album a classic album in no way in no form and if you go back and trace some classics um all over the years you would know that most of these classics have this thing where they where they try to have a wide range of issues and i'm saying most of them right now another parameter that i feel like must be thick in order for you to have a classic album is your versatility you as an artist must be able to show that you are not just you know boxed like you you like you're able to show that you're versatile in terms of your skills your music skills also shows in such a way that you can do well fusing sounds and sounding good so you can have a low tempo kind of song and you can rock that you know perfectly well and you can have a high tempo kind of song and you can rock that perfectly well or you can even switch genres that in its own shows that you're a true artist that you are not an artist that's completely boxed yourself in a fixed space and you're not open to new sound and new ideas so being very versatile as an artist in an album especially in a project like that definitely definitely speaks volume and also would enable your album be in that classic category of course if you do eps and all of that you can focus on your core audience and focus on just targeting that particular niche and sounding in a particular way but when you do an album or a project you want to see that as an artist you verse and you're open to new ideas because that is what that would really expand your audience base and even make your critics start feeling like you know what you know i may not really mess with his music but this particular song that particular song or the way he produced particular song the way it sounded like this really really resonated with me or really really sound good so that's a way for you to open yourself to your critics and, and tell them that you are a true musician aside from that the lyrics guys this is very important the lyrics is so so important now as an artist if you want to produce a classic album right you can choose to ignore the two things i just mentioned right they're important but 
if you ignore those two things and focus on good writing like writing your ass off writing some of the best music of your life if you focus on that trust me you have a classic album no issue because you would have such memorable lyrics that it just can't be forgotten and it will stand the test of time when you are innovative you're creating with your lyrics where you just don't recycle stuff and you just don't use other people's lyrics and lines and all of that it tells a lot about you know the authenticity and also the albums itself will stand well so good writing is paramount is important if you choose to ignore that, you might still have a good album. It might trend for the time because people are like that, right? Sometimes we are in a period of time where we just like a certain kind of sound and we vibe to it for that period of time. Then years later, we move on from that sound. So you might work like that and not bother about lyrics and just bother about the sound, trying to make a commercially successful album. But over time, it will fade away and people will move on from that sound and when people think about it people will say you know what mm, it was so 90s it was so 2000 it was so this it was so that simply because you targeted the sound of that period or you were more concerned about going commercial that you forgot that the lyrics and what you're saying is the most important and that's what will resonate the most with people and that's what will stick in, in people's mind Aside from that, to produce a classic album, the production also must be good, like it's important, your instrumentals should be really, really good. Because another thing that really dates album is hearing an album and realizing that the production work on the album is not so good. That really dates album. No matter how good the musician is, if somebody hears, especially people that have like ears for music, if somebody hears your music and can date it, can tell you know what i think this is from this era or this is from this period of time that really really makes your music less of a classic because it tells that you did not take time or probably you employed engineers or production team that was not really as good as it can get if you think of legends like you know fella kuthi and all the likes these guys they spend time in their production like they took time everything was planned all their instruments was planned they made sure that it was done perfectly it was meticulous because these guys know that at the end of the day that's what would really make their their albums stand the test of time and with that said those are the parameters or those are the things i think that really makes an album a classic album or not so if your films are ticking all of these books even if the album might not really be commercially successful, trust me, it's going to stand the test of time. And over time, people might get to discover the sound again. People might get to realize that, look, yo, that album was slept and that album was really, really good. And before you know it, might surge again. I think that's what really happened with someone like a fella who say, now that the world is really opening up to Afrobeats and people are going to realize that, look, this pioneer, he did some really great music and all of that and they listen to it and it sounds real it sounds authentic it sounds it sounds true to the time even though it was produced way way back so those are something that we have to really focus on especially if you're a musician and all of that now with all that said let me go back to two phase now two phase made an album back in 2004 he released an album known as face to face it was may 15th he dropped this album if you go on wikipedia they actually classify this album as r and b but I don't really think it was Ago MP completely. It had Afrobeat element as well as Ago MP. But you guys should remember that back then Nigeria was still discovering its sound. So in terms of like production work, we had not really gotten our sound figured out yet. But Two Face, of course, in terms of his lyrics, his delivery, and all of that stayed true to Nigerian sound. But just that the production was not, you know, all that Nigerian because back then we were still figuring that sound thing out but yeah album was perfect album was perfect it has one of the biggest songs to ever come out of africa african queen and it has so many many other songs and amidst all that's going on right now in two faces life with his wife and his baby mama and all those clashes going on i think what that has also brought attention to is his music right now to face, I have started to see a little bit of a resurgence of his old music, and that can be seen in this clip I'm going to play for you of the Florida rapper Kodak Black singing along to African Queen. So, guys, uh, without much ado, I'm going to play you guys a clip and I'm going to come back with more commentary. My African Queen, the girl of my dream, you will be where I never been. You make my heart go ding a ling a ling. Oh, 
You are my everything. The girl of my dream. You remind me of a team. And that is the African beauty. Yeah. African queen. The girl of my dream. You will be where I never been. You make my heart go ding a ling a ling. Oh, you my African queen. The girl of my dream. You remind me of a team. And that is the African beauty. Yeah. So guys, as you guys have seen the clip, what do you guys think about the clip? Uh, do you think that what I said is actually factual? That you know, Two Face is going to see some resurgence of some of his old classic work. And aside from that, what do you think about Kodak's <laughs> Kodak singing of Two Face's song? Do you like if you're like me, you feel like this guy need to go get some training in singing, but like he's really destroying. <laughs> he was, he was, he was really destroying the song like bro sing learn to sing learn to sing better <laughs> but anyway um it's all love man kodak kodak is a great rapper great music he produces really really great music so if you guys have not really seen his music go check it out you know really you need to go check his music out he has some really deep songs and all of that anyway guys that's pretty much all for you guys so don't forget guys to like and subscribe to not post notification and stay tuned for more afro based related entertainment and just coming at you i'm also now guys peace